while raw sewage from your toilet is now being dumped directly into area rivers. And 13 Investigates has the video now to prove it. Now wait until you see what it's costing to fix it all. Tonight, our investigative reporter Bob Siegel takes you underneath the city so you can see this dirty and dangerous problem for yourself. What you're seeing right now is sewage. That dark, sludgy stuff flowing down the White River, it's straight from someone's toilet. If you think it's icky to look at it, well, some people are fishing in it, boating in it, even swimming in it. Oh. The city of Indianapolis is dumping your human waste into scenic waterways like Fall Creek, Eagle Creek, and the White River, turning these picture postcard images into cesspools of waste and bacteria. In some cases, the sewage has been slightly treated by the city. At a minimum, it'll be screening out the floatables. Floatables. What are floatables? Exactly what you can visualize floatables are. That's what they are. Things that are floating in the sewage. But in most cases, what's coming out of these pipes is raw, untreated waste. Floatables and all. Environmentalist Dick Van Frank has seen some of those floatables firsthand. You could see diapers, toilet paper, all sorts of things that are in sewage uh, along the banks and actually at times hanging in the brush along the creek. It's a public health menace. That menace happens in 130 places throughout Marion County. And the amount of raw sewage being dumped is simply staggering. How much are we talking about? Anywhere from six to seven billion gallons a year. Billion with a B. There's just no way to hide that number. So why is this happening? Why is the sewage going here instead of going to the city's wastewater treatment plant? The answer lies well underground. We built those tunnels starting in 1914. The city's sewer system was built about a hundred years ago. Back then, Sewers were designed to handle both wastewater from your home and stormwater from the street together. The combined sewer lines lead to the treatment plant, and they work great as long as it doesn't rain. But when a storm comes along, the combined sewers fill up quickly, too quickly, sending a massive wash of combined stormwater and sewage to an overwhelmed treatment plant. Our plant wasn't designed or had to, doesn't have the capability to deal with that. So under those situations, what we can't handle here, we actually have to send directly to the river. Do you ever see these overflows up close? I see them all the time. Uh, anytime it rains more than a quarter of an inch, I see hundreds of them. Tom White is a project manager at the city's Department of Public Works, and you're about to see where he's taking me. Right now, I'm inside one of the city's big combined sewer overflow points, and I want to show you exactly how this works. Take a look down there. All that brown gunk, well, that's actually raw sewage. It flows down here and into that pipe, and that takes it directly to the city's sewage treatment plant to be treated. Now that is what it looks like on a dry day. But if it had rain today, well, the sewage wouldn't be down here. It would be up here over my head. And at that point, then the sewage would flow into this tunnel. And this flows directly into the White River. It happens about 60 times a year. And sewage overflows in late summer can kill off a lot of fish. People are at risk, too. Signs along our local rivers warn the water can make you sick. That overflow sewage has high levels of E. coli bacteria. But despite all the warnings, we saw families and children jumping right in, swimming in contaminated water and unaware of any danger. Brownsburg, Noblesville, Anderson, there are a lot of Indiana towns dumping their sewage too. And fixing this dirty problem, it's going to cost you big. Wait till you see what's going to happen to your monthly sewer bill. You'll see how much it's going up in just two minutes. I'm also going to show you just how dangerous this water really is. Our test results and your big rate increase when we come back.